guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to The Daily Light. I apologize for not posting in a little bit. Uh, to be completely honest, I just got sidetracked and didn't make, didn't make God my priority those days. Um, and I apologize for that. I apologize to God for that too. Believe me, we've had our, uh, we've had our quiet time and um, my journaling session. And I apologize there too, because it's so easy. Like it's so easy to just forget just get too busy with your day. And I never thought I'd be too busy with this quarantine stuff, but like Noah pointed out in one of the last videos, finals for us are this week. And I didn't think I had a lot going on. I didn't think I had to study much for my finals. Cause honestly, when it went online, everything felt like it just ended. Well, newsflash Hunter and Noah, classes are still going on. And there's a lot more information that passed in and out of my head during this quarantine than I realized. So the last couple of days, I've been kind of stressing about that stuff. Not doing too much about it, but just stressing. So I was thinking today, I was like, what What do I want to talk about? And then I realized I'm sitting here and the only thing that I've been doing the last two days that I haven't done the last couple days prior was listening to a lot of worship music in the background. And I wanted to talk about something that I find super important, which is just worship and what worship is and kind of what we're called to worship and how we're called to worship because everybody loves to be like oh it's around that worship music and start praising god and that's great that's absolutely amazing that you can worship god in that way but you can worship god through so many other ways and i was sitting here thinking about it and this hit me just before i started rec recording the video shout out to maverick city music i've been listening to their latest album that came out like two days ago on repeat literally all day like actually on repeat um it's beautiful if you're looking for some good worship music maverick city super good but so i'm like i think worship needs to be what i talk about today and lo and behold i look up a verse and one just hit me and i was like wow but it starts with it starts as so colossians 3 14 through 17 but it starts with the, the, the first few words of that, and it says, above all of these, and then it continues. So I need to cover what the these are before I talk about the worship part of it. So the first, the verses before that, it says, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. First off, that's a great thing, you know, calling back to Easter because, you know, die on the cross to forgive us. So all those little quarrels you're having at home with your siblings, with your friends, with your parents or parents with your kids or spouses together, you got to forgive each other because God forgave us. Remember that. That's a big takeaway. If you don't take away anything about the worship, remember, forgive each other because God forgave you. All right, now let's get to the, the part that hit me. And I said, above all these, so everything that was just mentioned, Put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of what let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing songs, psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, which with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And I think that's just a really good example of how you can worship. You can be thankful. I think that's kind of one of the keys that we have when we sing these worship songs, especially those ones that really hit you in there. It's because it reminds, at least me personally, the reason a worship song really gets me is one, it applies to my situation. Two, it applies to something I have gone through. Or three, it reminds me of something that I've been taken through. And all through that, the one constant is God and how he worked. And I think that's something to worship. That's something to be thankful for. And I think that's what stands out in good worship songs or worship songs that hit you in your heart the right way is that it reawakens a, a divine thankfulness that we have for God when he gets us through certain events, certain traumas, certain anything that we go through. And here it says, and whatever you do in word or in deed, whatever you say, whatever you do, do everything in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And I think amazing ways to do that 
is to be nice, is to listen to that worship music, spend time with God. But in everything that you're doing, even if it has nothing to do with worship or reading the Bible or journaling, even in your interactions, while you're eating food, while you're watching TV, while you're scrolling on your phone, while you're checking your emails, you can do everything for the glory of God. You can do everything in the worship of God. Just be thankful for the thing you are doing at that moment and be thankful for the God that helped you get to that point you are. There's just so much more to be thankful for than what we actually, we just take it all for granted. So my encouragement for you today, I know, sorry, I was going on and off about all these so many different things, but my encouragement for you today is to take a moment and really go through a list of what you're thankful for in your life. Because as we're inside, as we're in quarantine, it's super easy to start getting stressed out and wondering, oh, what the heck? Like, I'm just, I'm bummed, I'm stuck inside, it's cold, it's wet, it's Michigan. Like, be thankful for the things that we have in our lives. Take a moment and reflect on all the things God has given you, all the things God has brought you through, and all the things that you're thankful for. I promise you, your whole mindset will change. And in doing so, you will bring worship to our God, who so deserves it, who so deserves it. All right, let me pray and I'll get you out of here, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for just just loving us. I thank you for forgiving us and for giving us such a beautiful life that we live, Father. There's ups and downs that we all experience, Lord, but you're faithful. We're thankful for you. We're thankful for your love. We're thankful for your forgiveness. And Lord, help us learn how to worship you best. Lord, speak to each and every one of us with exactly what we need to hear today, God. Lord, I ask for encouragement. I ask for strength. I ask for, for light and happiness and joy for each and every person hearing my voice right now. Father, I ask that you move in them and in their families and in their friends and just bring a joy and a peace and a love that surpasses all understanding, Father. Lord, help us worship you the way you want us to, Father. Help us in all things do it for the glory of you with thankfulness and joy, Father. Lord, I love you, and I thank you, and I thank you for the opportunity to be speaking right now. And I ask all these prayers in your name, God. Amen. Thank you guys again for listening, and I'll try to be more diligent this week, but like I said, it is finals week, so if I miss a day or if no one misses a day, please give us a little bit of slack here. Um, but anyway, if you have a moment to pray for us and our finals and everybody else at Oakland right now, or college students in general, we had a rough transition and these exams could be pretty rough. So if you, uh, if you have, have some time in your prayer, prayer today, um, we would very much appreciate it. Anyway, love you guys. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye.